Hi everyone, welcome to Omni Dashboard. In this video, I'll show you a quick walkthrough of some cool things you can do with the Omni Dashboard. The first thing that you'll see when you log into the Omni Dashboard is this dashboard page. There are four main tabs right on top of the page. Activity. This is where you find the call logs, voicemail, and recorded messages. Numbers is where you can manage the business hours and non-business hours as well as the notifications of receiving incoming calls. Extension is used to manage, add, and view extensions. And your IVR, or your virtual receptionist. This section shows your overall usage in terms of calls, SMS, credit, and your extensions within your billing period. For example, this indicates that you have used 14 minutes of outgoing calls, which is equivalent to 28% of your outgoing call quota. Same goes for text messages. This shows the number of SMS you have used. You will only see the credit usage starts to increase after you have run out of free outgoing minutes. Your credit limits varies according to the plans you are on. Lastly, this shows the number of extension lines you have used. By opening this account, you have already used one extension. If you scroll down a bit, you will see all of your extensions that you have set up on the left and your Omni numbers on your right. Over here is where you get to see an overview of your customized greeting and call menu of where your incoming calls will be directed towards. And if you haven't downloaded the Omni app, click here to start your Omni number. And that is all you need to know about the dashboard page. Let's head over to the Extensions tab and click Manage My Extension. Welcome to the Extensions page. So this is what you will see upon signing up. This is the extension that is tied to this admin account. It's to configure what happens when your extension is dialed directly or through the interactive virtual receptionist. This is connected to your account and Omni app. For the purpose of this demo, let's use this extension for sales department. All incoming calls that goes through the Omni app are free of charge. You can also configure it to ring as a regular call as well. This option will use your free outgoing minutes. Once depleted, you will be charged per minute according to your plan. If you want the extension to ring other members of your team, you can also add more numbers by simply click here and fill in your member's name, phone number, how long do you want it to ring, and choose whether you would like the incoming callers to see your member's number or just show the Omni number and hit save. It should appear here and if you want to change the order of the numbers, you can always rearrange them however you wish. If you only want incoming callers to go through your Omni app, don't forget to turn off your mobile phone number setting here. This will prevent you from using up your call minutes quota. With all the numbers set up, you can choose to have incoming calls to ring the numbers in order. If one does not pick up, the call will be ring on the next number in line and so forth. Simultaneously, it's where all the numbers will ring at the same time. Or voicemail, where incoming callers will be directed to a voicemail. Besides that, if you mouse over down here, you will see the call settings. Here you are able to configure your incoming calls to ring in any of these three sequences using the call menu or answer options, ask the incoming callers to record their name or connect them directly to you. You can directly add the phone numbers here but only if it is necessary. Other than that, you can manage your call recording, incoming fax and voicemail notifications by sending email or SMS notifications or even both. Here, you are able to leave a unique voicemail message to your incoming callers if you are unable to answer their calls. Or, you can even record your own voice or upload an audio file. 
At the bottom of this page, you will see a profile section of the extension number where it records the extension number, login details, and account access pin. Now that I've shown you how to edit your extension, go ahead and add your teammates in your extension list. So mouse over to add new and it will bring you to another page where the setup takes place. Here is where you have to register your number to make it as your extension. As you can see, there are two types of extensions. First is personal, where you are able to connect your incoming calls to a specific person. Second is department, where a group of personal extensions falls under the same department. For your information, you will only use the department extension type when you have multiple extensions and wish to create an extension group. Unless you are a pro or an enterprise plan user, we would not recommend you to use department extensions as it takes up your limited extension quota. For the user roles, there is an option for admin and non-admin users. Admin users have access to configure the platform such as add new extensions, set up IVR, call menu, and etc. Non-admin users, however, can only make calls and send messages as configured by admin. Here, you are required to fill in the first name, surname, email, and mobile phone number for the specific extension. The email address of the designated user is required for personal extension type, as it also creates a user account with a password for the said user. If you choose to create a department type of extension, you will only need to fill in the name and email for notification purposes. While it is a group setting, it is also counted as an extension. Group extensions have no login details. The individual extensions would have to manage their own login and then are grouped into one in the department extension. Now go ahead and get your extension set up. Then click the Add Extension button below. After adding extension, it will bring you to a page where you can see all of your existing extensions listed. And that is all you need to know about setting up and configuring your extensions. Now let me show you how to use your IVR or Interactive Virtual Receptionist by clicking Manage My Receptionist. Welcome to the Interactive Virtual Receptionist page where you can manage your IVR. As you can see here, this is where you can set up your call greetings to your incoming callers. You may choose to use the text-to-speech feature record your own voice, or even upload an audio file, and click Save. After setting up your call greeting, now you can start setting up your call menu. Here, you will be able to see where you can connect each number either to an extension, voicemail, or another IVR that you have already created. Please ensure that the menu matches with the greeting. If the greeting says press 1 to speak with sales, and press 2 to speak with customer service, then the menu should connect to extension 1 to sales and extension 2 to customer service. You can even add phone numbers in the call menu. It's like what I've done in the number 3 call menu, but only if it is necessary. Number 9 is a default connection to voicemail, but it can also be connected to any phone number. The voicemail settings can be tied to any number that is still available in the call menu and it is not necessarily number 9 as it is just an option. A steric is to repeat the menu. If the incoming caller did not press any valid number, you can choose to repeat the greeting how many times you want, and then after that, you can choose to forward the incoming number to an extension, a phone number, voicemail, or to hang up. Once you have made your selection, hit the save button. Add it here to change the label of the IVR. If you wish to add another virtual receptionist, click here. Once you have more than one IVR, you will be able to see all of them listed here. The new IVR will appear below. To configure your IVR, click the gear icon. And that is all you need to know about managing your IVR. Let's move on to the numbers. Move your mouse over to the Numbers tab and click Manage My Number. 
Welcome to the numbers page where you'll be able to configure your Omni number. Here is where you can decide if you want the number to ring 24-7 or only during specific business hours. If you click business hours, you will see that you will be able to set your business days and hours according to your business availability below. Scrolling down to the call settings, here you can decide where your incoming callers are directed towards during and after business hours. For example, you can direct calls to your IVR that is used for during business hours and another IVR that is used for after business hours. Just don't forget to set up your close hours greetings and have the incoming calls go directly to your voicemail. You can even select the extension or user account that will be able to deal with text messages on their Omni app. If you have more than one Omni number, you are able to see them in a list and to edit the settings of the number, click the gear icon. And that is the end of the quick walkthrough of Omni. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. If you have any more inquiries, please head over to our FAQ page or email us at support at omnihotline.my. Thank you and enjoy!